Hello there YouTube, it's me Hello Mom again, and I apologize for my lack of video making. And yes, I'm recording outside because I have a friend over and I don't want to do the review in the room with him, so yeah. Um, I was, I had a, several reviews that I've uploaded but I've not successfully uploaded and I did not know about it. So I will probably be doing some re-reviews of the Brothers in Arms Matthew Baker, which I did receive from PlanBTOYS.com. And this book, which is good, uh, me now. Uh, Gertrude Barkhorn. But now, here's a review that I will be making sure it gets up on YouTube. I will be constantly re-uploading it as many times as it needs to be. But, uh, I'm really psyched to have this. The NECA Godzilla 1985. Man, I didn't, uh, I really planned to get this when it first came out, but I, um, I didn't have the money when it first came out, and now I, I finally got the money, and I'm super psyched to get it, and I really think they did a lot of really good job on this, but we'll only find out when we open it. So first of all, let's take a look at the box. It's pretty much the same as our 19, as our 19, um, 19, what was the year, 1995 Godzilla, 1994. We have the nice uh, title screen Godzilla with the 1985. We have the background, which is pretty much the same as all the bandages we'll be getting. Uh, nice clamshell packaging. You have a nice product shot of Godzilla right here. And you have Godzilla right there. Pretty basic. Pretty neat. Yeah, there's not even a bio the back of the box. It's really basic, really, you know, run of the mill. So there's nothing too exciting about it. Let's just get the box open and see how the figure really is. So here we have a 1985 out of his packaging. And it's not all I expected him to be, but he's by no means a bad figure. I mean, he has some kind of weird things about him. Like, it seems like his thighs are way too fat for the rest of his body. It looks like his body's are kind of slim. His arms look a little kind of slim. And his spines are much uh, weaker material than they were on the 1994s. Like, this one, they felt much more thick and much more sturdy. Like, they could go through a little bit more. But this one seems like they're a little bit weak and flimsy, so you gotta be really careful with it. And I heard a lot of people say that it's hard to attach a tail. For me, it wasn't. We just gotta, you know, get a firm grip on it and just push it in there, and it's real easy to do. There's no trouble with it. At least it wasn't for me. And another gripe I don't like that they did is they made the hands a solid piece again. That's a pretty standard issue. But I, I would have thought it would have been really cool if they would have stuck with what they did on 1984s. Where they made the hand kind of posable. I really think that was really neat that they did. And it added for a lot more kind of posability and more, you know, poses you can get them into. But, you know, this is definitely much better than the concept art. If you guys go look up the concept art for this figure, the concept prototype figure that's going to be released, the head looked way worse. And they really, really improved with the head sculpt. As you can see. This figure is a very good representation of the 1985 movie. Unfortunately, I've personally not seen it yet, but I um, do plan on watching it. It does look like a very good Godzilla movie. And the detail on this is just really nicely done. You know, standard NECA issue. All the nice scales are put in there. You got everything you need. It's a good NECA figure. Even inside his mouth, they did a really good job on there, too. He's kind of like bored eyes. He always reminds me of Godzilla looking as if he was bored. He, doesn't, he looks kind of like he's bored. Well, he's not looking very much amused. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's get on to his articulation. His jaw... Moves up and down. He has a nice neck pivot right here. You can get him looking up pretty good. And get him look down pretty good. Not not as much down as up. Uh, he has another neck joint right here. The base of the neck. You can move him kind of up. Left to right. So and so. His arm. There's a ball joint right here. So you get all these kind of movement. And then you get an arm joint right here. And you can also swivel around the hands on a little ball joint themselves the legs have a kind of a ball joint right here 
and same with the no actually I don't think at least mine not yet but I do believe there's articulation in the knee yeah there's barely any but there is and then you got some nice ankle pivot and then his waist does have a forward and ab forward and backward crunch and side to side movement and you know the standard tail where it's one segment's right here and then there's another segment right here and then another segment right here and then the rest is the bendy bendy wire so he has really good articulation uh yeah so i'm kind of making this review quick because i'm low on phone battery and i do not want to risk this ending so let's go ahead and get on to size scaling here he is compared with the 2014 Godzilla from NECA. I'm really getting into these NECA Godzillas. I really hope they release a Showa version, you know, the 1970 kind, the kind of, what's referred to as the Puppy Dog Godzilla. I really wanted to release one of those. Like, that was my favorite type of Godzilla. So there he is with that. with the, of course, the Godzilla 1994, 94? I keep calling him 95, I keep getting confused. But I know 95 is the burning Godzilla. So this one is taller, and I do prefer this one over this one, but, you know, I still like this one. And here he is with the other outside review, NECA's the Battle Damage and Life Hit. So yeah, get him more on the screen. So yeah, uh, if the review cuts off here, that's because I ran out of phone battery. But let's just continue on. So for what I'm gonna be getting in the future, I did order a two-pack with the new Tactic Ronin and the new Gypsy Danger 2.0 from ToyWiz.com. Uh, so I do have those coming in the mail, and I will be doing a review on both of those when they come in the mail. Um, the future figures that I might be getting when they do come out and I get the money for them is the new Horizon Brave, maybe the new Battle Damage Gypsy Danger, the one with the, with the uh, arm cannon, and definitely any of the new NECA Godzilla, so like the Burning Godzilla, the Godzilla 1954, and the NES Godzilla, definitely going to be getting those. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you guys want to stay updated to get some cool toy photography and sometimes some non god related Godzilla posts, uh, please follow my Instagram, it is Godzilla Gojira, I'll have the name down in the description, uh, yeah, go follow me on Instagram there, thank you very much for watching this review, this is Halorama out, peace. <laughs>